Okay, up next is Dr. Mary Holzhauer from Ithaca College. I'll stand here so I can see. <laughs> so this is why Johnny can't read, the Jean-Pierre can. It's originally Jean, but you couldn't read it with a French accent without knowing it, so Jean-Pierre it is. Using the dans de l'humanité pratique in the collegiate classroom. What are the needs of collegiate class piano students? <coughs> students are generally fluent in at least one clef and have spent most of their lives reading one note at a time, with some students even entering with little or no note reading experience whatsoever. Their reading speed is greatly reduced when they are introduced to chordal and contrapuntal scores. And student practice time is spent largely on reading and not on applying technical skills or two-hand coordination, which they also need plenty of. <laughs> Students tend to default to mnemonic-based note reading systems they learned in school, every good boy does fine, which are always commonly viewed as an inefficient reading method. And many students even resort to the dreaded transposing from their fluent clef to another clef in order to gain speed. Introducing a landmark or anchor note reading method from the very beginning allows for a faster learning curve and also fosters the important landmark notes on the keyboard. <coughs> what is the Dandelion Manuel Pratique and how can it help these issues? When I was a grad student at Ithaca College, I noticed that the conductors were getting more practice with learning new clefs and learning how to do score reading. So I took it upon myself to figure out what they were doing and did it myself. Um, they were using the Danu Manuel Pratique, which is a system of exercises for note reading developed by Georges Danilo for use at the Paris Conservatoire. It was designed to help students efficiently learn to read notes in all modern clefs, including all of the C clefs, and associating landmark notes with each clef so that when you are associating it, you have something instantly that you can recognize. It was commonly used as a training method for conductors and international musicians, and it's associated with the use of fixed dough, but it doesn't have to be exclusively used with fixed dough. It uses a system which separates note reading from playing and integrates interval reading and chordal structures. It promotes the chunking of notes into recognizable units, especially chords, as well as interval recognition. This is an example of the modern edition of the Dandelo, and you can see that it puts the anchor notes as not filled in and the notes that are neighbors as filled in so that you start to get a visual kind of map that isn't associated with a bunch of lines but rather four specific anchor notes that you can then correlate to. And then the slurs would provide note groupings that you can then see patterns show up. And this is an example of the bass clef reading which also includes chordal structures where you would actively read from the bottom to the top to foster reading from the bottom first, which is something that we all know takes a long time to get people to actually do. Next. Sorry. <laughs> but how can I use this in the classroom? There's barely enough time to cover the required materials for piano proficiencies. These worksheets that I've made are modeled on the exercises in the, this book and based on the mad minute math drills of my youth. Each exercise is designed with 60 notes, allowing for students of moderate reading speed to complete the task, complete the task in one minute or less. I have supplemented the dandelion with exercises that drill triads and inversions and promote learning what the chords actually are. And the students who need extra review can actually go to the dandelion and practice the exercises before they do the drills so that they get better at it rather than just freaking out while they're doing the exercise. These are my note namings. Um, so the first ones are landmark note drills, which consists of 40 notes because it's a warm up and it is meant to be introduced in a single class exercise four minutes long. Um, you will see how note naming 1B, if you can read it from that far back, has notes that are next door, and note naming 2A introduces the landmark notes in the bass clef. These are interval drills, so the first one is based off of reading thirds in conjunction with other intervals, and combines both treble clef and bass clef so that they're not exclusively doing one or the other. The next one, number 12, uses fourths, which are by far the hardest for everybody, it seems like. And it also uses a drill of just the bass clef, because that is the one that I've noticed they're especially weak in. 
And then the final group is a series of chords that are divided into shapes based off of triads and inversions using only treble clef and only bass clef just to promote really reading from the bottom up. This sounds quite helpful, but I don't teach college students. Can I use this with my private piano studio? My little kids that I teach love this too. They love being in competition with their siblings and trying to be faster than them. And next. And thank you for listening. And if you PDFs of the described notes readings are available upon request. <laughs>